Good morning. This is 5G3 and 4. If my camera will move. Zoom in some more. Okay. The figure RSTU is shown below. RS is parallel to UT. RU is parallel to ST. RS is not congruent to RU. And none of the angles in the figures are right angles. Based on this information, which best term describes the figure RSTU? Well, let's look at this. What do we have here? What is a quadrilateral? For me, it's four sides. Okay. Parallelogram is also four sides. Right? But it also has two parallel. Remember what parallel means? Remember two L's in parallel? They will never touch. Two parallel sides. Two parallels. Two sides parallels. Two sides that are parallels. Okay? Rhombus only has one parallel side. Because remember, rhombus, oops, yeah, you can tell this is so not worth it today. Remember, this is a rhombus, right? And they only have one parallel side, so it's not a rhombus. But now you have here a parallelogram and a quadrilateral. Well, we know a quadrilateral has four sides, yep. And we know that a parallelogram, this is parallel to this one. And this one is parallel to this one. So the answer is D. Okay. Which statement is true? All squares are rectangles. All rhombuses are rectangles. All rectangles are rhombuses. And all parallelograms are squares. Remember when we started off our hierarchy here? And we talk about um, shapes. And we break it into triangles. We're all the way over here. And then you have parallelograms. Actually, no, you didn't have parallelograms, because parallelograms, you had quadrilaterals. That was the title. Quadrilaterals. Right? And then under quadrilateral, you had a square. You had parallelograms. And then you had another side branch over here. And under parallelograms, you had a square. You had a rectangle. You have parallelograms. You had a parallelogram. Right? And then under here, you had a rhombus, because a rhombus and a kite were quadrilaterals, but they're not parallelograms and they're not squares, so they're not rectangles and not things. And then remember, we had this branch right here, which was the octagon, I'm just the octagon, the nonagon, and so on. So which one is true? All squares are rectangles. Well, when I draw a square, are they a rectangle? Well, remember the definition of a rectangle is that these two sides are parallel and that they have four right angles. So both rectangles and squares both have those. So well, that could possibly be. Rhombuses are rectangles. Well, rhombus falls under a different category, so it cannot be that one. Okay, all rectangles are rhombuses. Once again, different category. Rectangles are not in the rhombus field, so it can't be. And all parallelograms are squares. Well, let's think about that. Squares can be parallelograms, but a parallelogram is more than just a square. 
Remember, a parallelogram can be a rectangle. A parallelogram can be um, a square. It could be multiple different things. But a parallelogram is not just a square. So the answer you would be is A. Okay, question number three. Julio's art assignment was to draw three different geometric figures that also have one geometric characteristic in common. His figures are displayed below. Which term describes the characteristics that the three shapes have in common? Well, let's count the sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So they're all four-sided, which means they're all quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals. They're not regular. They're not. There's nothing regular about them. There's nothing irregular about them. But are they all parallelograms? Well, this one's parallel to this one. This one's parallel to this one. This one's parallel to this one. But these are. These also could be parallelograms. But this is not. This is not a parallelogram. It has to have two of them. So your answer is C. Quadrilateral. Okay. Question number four. Which statement is also true? Okay. Every rhombus is also a square. Okay. So here's your rhombus. Is that a square? No, it's not. Every rectangle is also a square. Here's your rectangle. Remember the definitions of a rectangle. Okay, could possibly be a square. Every rectangle is a parallelogram. That's also true. And every trapezoid is a parallelogram. Well, remember over here, that when we did our thing right here, we had quadrilaterals, and then we would classify them parallelograms, and these were our parallelograms. And then when I said, remember, these are not, these are still quadrilaterals, they're still four-sided, but they're not parallel. And that was the rhombus, the kite, and the trapezoid. And then you had your other ones with the multi-shaped ones, and then you had your triangles, which didn't apply to the question here. So is the question, being the question, going back and looking at the question here, every rectangle is a parallelogram. Yes, every rectangle is a parallelogram. Every rectangle is a parallelogram. That's true. Every rectangle is a square. Well, it's technically not, because they're not as even sides. So I wouldn't say every rectangle is a square. I would say, I could, you could say every square is a rectangle, but not the opposite. And every trapezoid is also parallelogram. And remember, trapezoids do not fall under the parallelogram thing. So we're going to say the answer is C. Every rectangle is also a parallelogram. Okay. Question number five. If a quadrilateral Y... X, sorry, w, X, Y, Z is a rhombus, which statement can also be true? Angle W and angle X are supplementary. Angle W and angle Y are complementary. Angle X is a right angle, and W, X is parallel to X, Y. So let's draw a rhombus. That's the first thing. I'm going to start here. So I'm going to label that W. And then I'm going to come down with X, Y, Z. So all I did is I drew my rhombus, and then wherever I started is where I put my W. So W is supplementary to X, which means when you add this angle plus this angle, they're less than 90 degrees. They both look like obtuse angles to me, 